Charles E's, Charles E's, everything you need to know when you need to know it, man. I want to talk a little bit about the King Von situation. Him and Quando Rondo. New footage surfaced today. I didn't get a chance to make a video when it, when the killing, when the situation actually happened. Sometimes I like to sit back and, and let it marinate. I don't want to jump right in for that, that low-hanging fruit, knowing that a lot of channels is going to kind of swarm to that nest. Sometimes I like to just sit back, let it marinate, let shit unfold. Because I know that I'm going to put my twist on it, whatever it is. And it's going to be different from everybody else. So, I can afford myself that luxury to sit back and not respond so quick. Just to let the chips fall with their mail. But today, new, new footage came out. Showing pretty much what King Von's manager said that he kind of... Rushed out the car and just was looking for Quando Rondo, made contact, swung on him, just started pummeling him, beating him down, man. You feel me? It shows his homeboy coming from behind the car, letting off the shots, man. Letting off the shots. But before that, they said, even the manager said, and somebody might want to stop him from talking because once this go to court, the manager said that King Von, for whatever reason, this night, he wasn't himself. So that led me to think, that led me to think like, huh? What would make a person not they self? Then I got to thinking. Maybe he was under the influence of whatever drug or, or alcohol or whatever it might have been. But this is what his manager said. And a, a, and a good defense is going to use that in their defense of saying it was self-defense. And then the footage showed... All Kings Vaughn's men rushing to the fight. So I almost know that the shooter's going to say he feared for his homeboy's life. He feared for his life. And what Quando Rondo say that Lua Tim was his higher security guard. Then, and therefore, we got to go check. What's the criteria criteria for security guards shooting to kill in a self-defense situation? So it's a lot of shit unfolding, man. It's a lot of shit unfolding. But King Von's manager came out and said that King Von, he was sitting there for like a half hour. He, he sped off from the pack. They was all in cars. His homeboys went somewhere else. He went to the after party. Not the after party, but the uh, the after hour spot. Almost saying, almost as if he had word that his enemy, Quando Rondo, was going to be there. Because then they said once his boys got to the to the after hour, Vaughn, everybody was ready to go in. But King Vaughn had almost was just sitting there for like 30 minutes in the car. Why was he sitting there? See, these is all questions that was raised. Was he waiting on Quando Rondo? Did he get word that Quando Rondo was going to be at this after hour? And then he got the confirmation when his man came up to him and said, Rondo is here. Said Quando Rondo was here. He got that confirmation from his homeboy. When I heard that, it kind of took me back to Tupac in the, the casino out in Vegas when Pac's man came up to him and said, 
Yo, the nigga that took the death row change is over there. And we all know how that situation played out, man. We all know how that situation played out. Damn. That will go on to change part of the course of hip-hop, along with other murders, man. But this murder right here, this, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. At first, I, I really didn't, I wasn't checking for Quando Rondo's music, man. When I first heard King Von was killed by Quando Rondo, I was like, oh, okay. This is a Chirac beef that traveled to Atlanta. But when I got wind of it, Quando is from Atlanta. So that brings a whole different dynamic. That brings Chirac versus Atlanta. That brings that dynamic. Is this the beginning of a war? Hopefully not, man. Hopefully not. But when you carry heavy reputations like Chirac, and you lost a man in the field in somebody else's backyard. It's almost like you got to react. You got to react. Coming from where you come from and the reputation, how you carry it. Chirac niggas going to have to react, man. I hope they don't. I, I hope they don't. Because right now, it's looking like the war going to be on somebody else's turf in Atlanta. And nothing beats an ambush. And Atlanta, the Atlanta niggas, yeah, it's black Hollywood and all that. But listen, it's a dark side to Atlanta. This ain't the Atlanta in the 90s with the freak nick and shit. It's niggas that get dirty out there. Like I said, it's a dark, it's a dark side to Atlanta. Black Hollywood. It's a dark side, man. And when you play in the streets in somebody else's backyard, yo, you going in war at a disadvantage. You going in war at a disadvantage. And I also learned that NBA Young Boy. This beef might have tip top started with him. Because Quando Rondo is his artist. This is what I'm hearing. This is what came across my desk. I'm hearing Quando Rondo them is signed to NBA Youngboy. But King Von and Youngboy had their own situation. And yes, Quando Rondo being affiliated with Youngboy, he jumped in. So I, I want to see how all this play out. New footage is played out, man. Just unfortunately, King Von, several others lost their life, man. Bodies that drop, man. It really, at this point, is past talking it out, man. Once you lose life, draw blood, it's past talking it out. We all know Chirac niggas, when they leave Chirac to get away from that, they made some money. They go to Atlanta. They go to L.A. Young Chop, not too long ago, he had beef with ATL niggas. Man, listen. When you playing in somebody's backyard, bro, you going at a disadvantage, man. You at a disadvantage flat out. You at a disadvantage. So, I want to see how Chirac going to carry this, man. I want to see how Chirac going to carry this. Because you on somebody else's turf, man. You on somebody else's turf, man. Hopefully, cooler heads prevail. Somebody will step in and defuse this. But like I said, once bodies get to drop it, it's past that point of talking, man. Is this the beginning of Chirac versus Atlanta? Is this the beginning? Will Lil Dirk, will he step in and try to defuse it? I, I doubt it. Lil Dirk, he also, he sworn revenge. Chief Keith, he sworn revenge for King, King Von. This is OTF family, man. This is crazy. Is this the beginning of Chirac 
versus Atlanta, man. I hope not, man. I hope somebody can step in, somebody high-ranking. T.I., I guess he tried to do it. That didn't work out. He rubbed some Chirac niggas the wrong way. They sent shots at him, you know, made they threats and, or whatever towards him. It, it's going to take somebody big to step in. Like, we, we might need a Minister Fair kind or somebody, somebody super high ranking with respect from each side. But like I said, it's a whole different dynamic once the bodies start dropping, man. This is Charles E's. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that notification button so you get this heat when I upload it. Like I said, I bring it how other people don't bring it. That's why I can sit back and let all the other YouTubers go for that low-hanging fruit. Because I'm going to tell this story, my story, in a whole different way, man. Charles E's. Subscribe. Share. Like. I'm out.